thing set up are the uh, this how to use this uh, irradiance volume uh, let's go to a new project here uh, we'll add to make this I'll add a cube and then I would let this front face not front face and let's add a Suzanne inside here and this add also as uh, two spheres here here and there maybe bring this so these are going to be our source of light and uh, let's also ana add another uh, area light like this so if you go to shading let's go to shading here you can see what we have uh, all the light is coming from this uh, area light. But, uh, if we turn that off, uh, so area light, if we turn that off, uh, okay, we're getting some light from this lamp. So this is what we are looking at. And uh, we can add another, we can make these uh, light sources by giving them an emission shader, emission I delete this. Give this maybe a blue. Let's turn the energy to three. Shader emission. You can see they are not really affecting anything. They're not producing any light in the scene. Uh, that's because we need to use are to bake uh, these uh, lights using the irradiance uh, light something. So, so to <laughs> to bake the indirect indirect, indirect uh, lighting. So to do that, go to the render settings and then go to indirect lighting and then bake indirect right lighting. So you, if you click on that, it will not bake because we need to add uh, that irradiance volume map something. So let's go to layout again and go back to this you need to add that light uh, irradiance volume scale it to fit uh, the size of your mesh of your scene like that make sure everything is within those dots and uh, let's go back to shading rendered and now we can bake in the light writing lighting and you can see you get this bake lighting and uh, you get that you can see we even have uh, the lighting starting to work I think that but uh, I think we need to increase the light by uh, quite a lot so let's bake again and you see we have the light, we have our light. Let's also give this a material, maybe make it a bit darker so that we can see the light uh, more visibly. So bake light again. So it will also, the reason we were get, uh, the scene was uh, getting lit up quite a lot is because that uh, uh, this does does not only bake uh, the lights; it also bakes uh, the bounce, the bounce, the bouncing light. You can see this light is bouncing off here and then bouncing off uh, this area here and then reflecting on this area. Uh, so, if this was uh, white, fully white, uh, the light that is bouncing off this is also bouncing off. Uh, it's becoming white and then bouncing off the entire scene to make everything look so uh, burnt out like this. So we need to give this a much dark color so that it doesn't reflect a lot of light. So let's pick again. So we can also bring back our area light. Bake that again. Mm. 
me see. Back again. So if you remove all that light, let's pick again, let's see what we have. So you can see without baking that light, this is how the lighting would look like. And uh, if we bake uh, the indirect lighting, uh, this is how uh, that would look like. So let's also look at uh, the reflection uh, cube, cube map here. So if we don't have that, and uh, maybe make this, let's add, let's just add um, a plane here, shift D, let's use this as a mirror. I'll separate this and um, so we can turn this into a metal and uh, give it full reflection. Let's go to materials, make sure it's the only material that is assigned, so metallic, no roughness. You see, you see the kind of reflections they're getting? Maybe let's use a sphere. UV sphere, bring this here. Uh, I'll give it a smooth shading. I uh, use the same material. You see the kind of reflections we're getting? The monkey is not even getting reflected. Just need to position these directly so that yeah, you see, uh, though this is getting, this is supposed to be a reflective surface, uh, it's not reflecting uh, that much. You can see if we go to this material tab, uh, we are seeing the reflection of the environment map, but we are not seeing any reflections uh, from the objects within the scene. So to fix that, we use uh, the reflection a uh, cube map. Make sure that uh, it fits uh, the scene you want to reflect. And now we can go back to the baking, free everything, and then bake uh, the lighting and everything. And now you can see that uh, <coughs> now the reflections are also, the objects are also reflecting uh, our scenes. So you can see the Suzanne there. It is, it is not perfect reflections, and whenever you move this, it doesn't really bake that, reflect that for some reason. So what it does, it creates a reflection map for the entire scene, and uh, that is that reflection map is used are for all the objects in your scene, as you can see. So without that uh, reflection cube map, <coughs> oh, so if we free everything, this is the kind of reflections we get. And if we go to the material settings, we see what we get. So when, when you bake everything, this is what we get. Uh, in the, if you want this to appear back in this, uh, uh, in this material mode, you just need to turn off uh, the lighting. I guess it doesn't. You have to preview it uh, within the rendered uh, mode, like that. So that's how I managed to, to get uh, this, uh, reflect the reflections you see there and uh, the lighting there. So if I turned off that indirect lighting, so free, everything. I guess it doesn't really change uh, a lot because I have the, I have a, uh, because I have 
an HDR image, and this is a, an outdoor scene. So they're getting uh, bounce lighting from the HDRI image uh, from all directions. But if this was inside, uh, then uh, that baking would really make <coughs> would really make a difference. So let's see if I extruded these. So this is how it would look without uh, the baking. Now if we bake, can see uh, sometimes I think uh, it, it works for different scenes different setups but uh, yeah because I don't really see that much difference here for this scene Yeah, it will, depending on this, the scene setup you have, you can see the difference between not having this on and having it on. Anyway, thank, thank you for watching. Uh, again, if you want to download it, the scene, just go to my uh, YouTube page and uh, you will find all the links uh, directly there. Uh, yeah, thank you.